fake it Don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I will get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Omaha, happy Sunday. Hope everybody's doing okay. So we got here today is a test for a new series that I am going to launch probably June. Probably June because I don't want it conflicting with GTWS. We don't have a full grid. So anybody watching that wants to play, you've got nine minutes before I start. And then we're going to start. And if you want to join after that, that's fine. But, uh... Basically, I just I have a format that I've been wanting to test for quite some time, and you know th this is what we're gonna watch. It's gonna be three heats. Uh, each heat's gonna be around 20 minutes long. It's like your average daily C, and then it's going to be a final race. Uh, we I have a point system. Uh, the finals, whoever wins the finals wins it, but then points accumulate from second through last. Uh, the first race, we're going to have a five-minute qualifier. And then after that, the results, it will be reverse order grid. Right? So that's what we're doing. So three heats and a finals. Hako's just chilling. That's what Hako does. Hako's a beast. So 
see what cars we got. We got a Supra, McLaren, a Renault, a Porsche, another Porsche, a Pug, and a Bimmer. Eh, seven isn't too bad. Yeah, I see you. You're 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 done. <laughs> you you've had your practice. You're done. Don't worry, we're starting in eight minutes. Just trying to get a couple more drivers last minute, just not working out. But I mean, even if we don't get a full grid, that's not a it's not a huge deal, you know. This is the test at the end of the day. Plus, I'm gonna try my hand at commentating, which is probably gonna be horrible. But you know, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I do know going going forward, like my my plan for this is the first two months. Uh, it's going to be GR3. One's going to be no tuning, and then the other one's going to be complete full tuning, right? And then the third month, I'm going to launch a completely different car, which will most likely be Super Formula, uh, the Super Formula 23s. And then the month after that will be the Radicals. That's that's what the roadmap looks like for the first four months of this series. Um, I'm like really pumped for this. I'm just hoping that it's that it's fun, that people enjoy the actual racing themselves. So I'm really, really pumped. And I know I know for a fact we'll have a full grid for the actual, you know, the inaugural race for sure. Standing there with a sign for eternity. <laughs> eternity. <laughs> like, come on, let's go, let's do this. I think I caught Simon doing a drift here. What's up, Mick Racer? Welcome back, man. Hopefully, all is well. Right, we're six minutes away from the start. We got Dom to go. The two-time champ over here for Scubaru and Toyota. <laughs> I do like the mix of cars. All right, let's type in five minutes. Start here. Grid is pretty close for the most part. I like to do this with the lobby, so I count down. about y'all but I feel like this is the better layout of this track. I think this layout's way better than the forward layout. Especially this turn. This turn becomes way more awesome. And obviously this downhill. Alright, 
three minutes. I think is great is it's, what's going to throw them off is practicing in this lobby there's no fuel right so once there is fuel added to the car the cars will be much slower uh, Dom has left the room two minutes come back Dom Okay, well he's got two minutes. <laughs> I'll wait for him, but you know. said one minute, but we're going to wait for Dom. <laughs> Hako is super consistent this day, 2-4-4 two, four, four, through two sectors. Uh, we caught him sandbagging. He's hiding his pace. Dumb. Tick, 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 tick. I also found out that I'm like a scrub when it comes to Excel, so I need to learn how to do that. My plan was to show you guys the points as as the races progressed, but you know, I have failed. So Already a minute late. All right, here he is. Oh, we got somebody in here.
McRacer, no worries, man. Just drive, you know? Just try to have fun. I would like your input, too. Monthly tournament series. That's what MTS stands for. All right, let's start this. All right, race one. I'm gonna go ahead and put Ashton's name down. got racing for the first person across the line. Smart though, because he's got such a gap in front and behind. What's up, Bruno? How are you, man? Honestly, that, that could be a good strategy, you know, to put some pressure on somebody, especially a fast driver, you know, on the opening lap to get a lap. That's, honestly, that's not a terrible strategy. Very good through there. I hate when they do that. There shouldn't be a gap. I should see the next person. Gotta love PD. Sir. Right, he has 15 seconds off. Dom goes up to P5, 2.3. There's a little bit of traffic he's dealing with. And qualifying will be 
done at the five minute mark and then they'll have another lap afterwards. And Ciro is on his flying lap going purple. Very nice. I definitely want to stay with Ciro because he is purple at the moment. Truth just joined. He's gonna he's gonna have to wait a race, unfortunately. Alright, Hako with a new point three, well done. Alright, will Zero beat that time? Just missed it. Goes up to P2 though. Two and a half tenths behind Hako. Anybody else on a flying lap? Nope, we are done. So Hako first, Simon second, Sneaky third, Sloth fourth, Hide fifth, Shaq sixth, Aston seventh, and McRacer eighth. Let's message truth. Gonna have to wait a race. Yeah, yeah, you guys have two minutes. We are going to get uh, Boku in here too, so whenever he gets out of uh, out of overtime, you know we'll have another driver for sure. But you know I'm happy with eight, eight, nine drivers. I'm happy with that. You know what? That's a good idea. We could do that. Yeah. Let's take a picture of that just in case. That was a good idea. Thanks, Dom. Add settings. Let's get rid of the qualifier. Set by host. Oh, Aston ended up leaving. We ended up losing a guy, unfortunately. All right, starting grid. Nasiro was second. Hako got the pole. We got Sneaky is third. So, right, let's wait for everybody to uh, to ready up here. We may have lost somebody, but we gained another one, so we'll take it. Right. Two more people to ready up. All right, now Sneaky. You can do it, Sneaky. Just hit the green button. The one with the check mark. I believe in you. <laughs> Come on. So grid. Here, we'll just fix everything else. So who was fourth? So we got Dom. 
fourth. Hide is in fifth. Okay. Dom was sixth. And then McRacer. Alright, so when he joins, we just move him up to third. second now. I know he's going to hit the button. There he goes. Alright. Starting grid. Adjust. Boom. Apply. I'll just hit ready. Okay, we got one, two. Truth is ready. Dom is ready. I know Hako is the one who asked for a couple minutes. He is driving. Okay, so he's definitely ready. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. He said rolling. Go. No, we don't do rolling starts here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Spectate. On. We'll start with sneaky here. Sneaky with a great start. Takes the inside. Very nice. Slots right back in. Real clean start. Let's go. Oh, sneaky try for the move at the death chicane. Just so you guys know, my commentating is probably horrible. This Simon is free. Paco going for the move. Oh, a little bit of contact. Got into first. Zero. It's now down to third. Sloth is looking. And Simon's having a little bit of a struggle here, the very first lap. They're getting uh, beat up there. And Dom looking for PE4. I definitely like the variety of cars here. This, this Bimmer should get the run down to turn one. I'm gonna watch the move. Ooh, we got two people into the pits. Simon and, and Sloth into the pits. So strategy's already into play. <laughs> All right, so those are the only two in there. What's up, Dave? We got a nice little race here between these three. Is this the stud series? <laughs> no, not the stud series. This is a monthly tournament series that I am... Ooh, Dom just hit the wall. It's light damage though, thankfully. He's got tons of it. 
gonna have his work cut out to try and recover. The day goes purple. Well, duh, it's lap one. <laughs> yeah, it's a, this is a monthly tournament series. I've always had like an idea and this is the first test for it. We'll be live within the next couple months for sure. We'll have our very first official race. But this is a format test. And if you'd like to join, you can absolutely join. You'll just start in race two. We have three heats and a finals. The hot goes up to a second here. Simon has already caught up to Dom. He's officially down a pit stop. All right, much better run, so we should see the move here in turn one. Yomaha, what's up, Talon? All right, Dom goes for his pit. Sneaky gets the best lap. Both of these guys are on softs. McRacers is still on hards. Holding up Hide with the with the softs. I think he's doing a pretty good job then. Because once he goes on the softs, there's just extra laps that he has on Hide. A very nice move. Ooh, just drifting. Definitely compromised his momentum. The Gracer keeps the spot. That's got to be frustrating for him. It's got to be frustrating. And Simon. He's only two seconds down from these guys. Almost up a pit stop on these guys. This will be my tournament series that I'm going to run monthly. This is a test for it. I'm just testing format. Mick Racer holds. Ooh, a little bit of contact. Get back on track. All right, we're good. Truth is going to benefit the most out of this. And Simon is right on them. Very good sportsmanship to let Mick Racer back on. Simon is through. Got a 20 second gap to P1, which is all in that pit stop. The Truth and Mick Racer are both in now. So the only two people that have not pit are Sneaky and Hako. Talent, if you want to race, you can come race. We got two more heats and the finals yet. Actually remove my face off of the racing action. Sneaky doing a good job keeping up with Hako. That Renault was one of the biggest benefactors of uh, of the last Bop update, so it's a very good car. Struggles on tire wear though. Uh, one second gap between Hide and Simon. We still have a race between Truth and McRacer. Simon is starting to pull away. I'm gonna watch some last place action. McRacer went a little wide and Truth gets by. McRacer's had a pretty good race so far. He definitely shouldn't be upset about this. 
Somebody went purple. Simon has gained six tenths on the leader. I'm not sure how much he has lost trying to get through the, the field again. As Hako has extended his lead to 2.3. Simon is still up. It's a very close lap. I would assume that the pug loses a little bit of time to the Supra down the straight. Ooh, Rubino has joined. And we have a new fast lap. Well done to Simon. He's now under 20 seconds from the lead. So this is the race right here. It's, it's Simon versus Hako. And the battles, uh, the field has spread out officially. The Gracer is still hanging with Truth though. Extended his lead a little bit back on Simon. He's lost two tenths. Hako's got pretty good tires so far. Much better tires than Sneaky. And honestly, his tire is pretty comparable to the Pug. Four tenths that lap. Oh, Sneaky must have had an issue. He's losing a ton of time. Must have hit the wall. that this this pug's gonna end up dying out before the super does it's very close yeah I know I wish it was a little bit more even but there's definitely a difference between the tires in uh, we have a race here heating up between truth and Hide. But, um, yeah, there's definitely a big issue between the tire wear difference. McRacer is also catching Hide. And I think Hide hasn't stopped yet. that lap. And 
Make Racer and Truth has caught up to it. Eh? He's having a much better race than he said he was gonna have. Like he, he he's definitely doing much better. Ooh, a little bit of contact on the wall. It's definitely not gonna help his cause. He's gotta wait for that damage to recover itself. We are on light damage. The tire wear on Hide's car though is really affecting the drive off of the corners. As soon as the damage recovers, I'm sure this move is going to happen. Alright, Sneaky is in the pits. I'm gonna keep an eye on the gap between him and Simon. Dude, it's all good, man. We're, I'm doing a practice series for my monthly tournament series I'm gonna be hosting in the next couple months. I'm just testing out the format, how long it takes me to put in points, you know, things like that. You know, and trying to get, like, perspective on the, uh, like, from the drivers themselves, if they like the format. Our Simon is now, he's now gaining big time on Hako. He's front of 39, Simon ran a 38.8 last lap. He is up almost six seconds on on Sneaky, so there's there's still a battle for P1, and we will be shifting that, so we're just trying to get the move from Truth. Gav, Gav, Dave, you guys can join, you know, absolutely join. You guys will just start last place racing. Ooh, Hit A just hit the wall. Now that is, that is definitely it for his race. McRacer is now in seventh, Truth. All right, so let's watch this. Paco is going to be going into the pits. Right. And we will see where Simon ends up. Alright, he just got his tires. All right, it is a shootout for the last lap. Worn Softs versus Fresh Hearts. Paco is in the lead by one second. Absolutely, Dave, thanks. Have a good time swimming. Oh, he hits the wall! He hits the wall! Simon is going to finish P2 in this race. Paco is going to take the first heat. Just a little bit of mistake into that chicane. Probably pushing a little hard. Rightfully so. This is a pretty good race between these two. Okay, we have Sloth here putting the pressure on Sneaky on the soft tire. Could he get himself a podium? Sneaky hit the grass. He's going to defend. Sloth going for the cutback. Can he get the run? He's got the run. Going, going right down to the last chicane. Awesome, Gab has joined. So we got two more guys that will race the next race. Oh, McLaren just doesn't have the straight line. All right, good race. Hako is your winner, followed by Simon, Sneaky, Sloth, <laughs> Dom with the slide. Very first opinion, Grid Star sucks. <laughs> That's okay. Alright, we got 
sixth for Ciro and seventh for McRacer. All right, we ended up losing Hide, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I would say like spectating wise, Grid Start is is real fun. All right, so let me get the results up here, and we're gonna tally the points. Again, I still need some experience on Excel because I am a scrub. All right. I'm going to just save this. All right, and then we will change it over to race two. So we got 1148. I'm gonna say two. Next race. Twelve minutes should be enough time for me to get the points aligned and for people to take a break. Hako gets the full 30. Yeah. Jesus, Simba, you gotta chill. 25 for Simon. Hako gets 30. Right. Sneaky finishing on the podium. Gets 20. Alright. Then we have a sloth in fourth. We'll get 17. All right, in fifth place, we have Dom, who will get 15. All right, sixth place will be Truth. He will get 13. And seventh place is McRacer, who will get 11. All right, then we're going to set up the grid. As soon as everybody is checked, marked in, of course, we will set up the grid. Right, cool snakey thanks it's okay if you gotta go no worries i mean if you come back in time definitely come back <clears throat> all right we got rubino we're gonna add rubino and gav to the list Appreciate Rubino and Gav coming in late. Definitely appreciate it. <clears throat> I think Hide is uh, got to take a minute to. I think he's got something going on. I'm not sure. I'm going to ask him. Let's see. 
next. Alright, let's look at the cars. Who, what do we got? We got a Super again and the Pug for both Hako and Simon. Sloth using the McLaren F1. That's an interesting choice. It might not be a bad idea considering where we're at. Serum is in the Renault. We got a Mercedes AMG and then we got a Lexus for Rubino. Got eight minutes. So I can set order, grid order here. You're starting pole position next race. Alright, so Hako won. So he will be little, just ahead of Gav and Rubino. Alright, this way Sloth will move up because Sneaky isn't here. Racer will be on pole for this next race. All right, let's just double check the results, make sure we didn't mess anything up. All right, if Hide joins, he will start in the back with Gav and Rubino. <coughs> Yeah, Hide didn't finish the race, so he didn't get any points. But I think he has something to do. He's just chilling right now. I'm not even sure if he's going to race next race. Are we at five minutes till next race? Paco still fastest by half a second here. Dom third fastest. He's starting relatively close up front. He might have the easiest path for a nice quick victory in this heat. Truth also being fourth fastest. So it, these two might be the race, like the two that sets the bar for this race. Mercedes struggles a little bit on top end. I feel like this is a uh, very brave pick. <laughs> but I mean, if this is his car, this is his car. I mean, do the same thing with the Corvette. Right, in three minutes.
here he is. He's done. He's done practicing. He's had enough. He's had enough. That is going to be his trademark. Pulls it over and is done. Two tenths purple. <laughs> nice. See what I liked about testing this one? Is I feel like the car didn't really fall off. Like with the worn tires because of the fuel. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's wild. It's wild how much better your tires are. I wouldn't even expect that. Alright, one minute, guys. I'm just gonna ask everybody if they're ready. So we got Truth and McRacer in the pits. I wish I wasn't such a scrub with Excel. I'd love to show you guys the points. I'm just a scrub. Alright, there everybody is ready. It's good luck, no worries. It's like our trademark. As soon as two minutes come, we are starting. Or not two minutes, 2 p.m. comes. I feel like this commentary is the worst commentary of all time. Alright, here we go. Ten laps at Tokyo. We will start in the back with our... Actually, we'll keep it on Dom. We'll, we'll start on P3 here. Ooh, good start by Simon. Truth is up to the lead. Ooh, a little contact between him and Sloth. McRacer, who started on pole, ended up getting cycled back, which is okay. And last races, first and second, are battling too. This car is definitely going to struggle into that turn. Oh, McRacer back up to P2. He's not done. Got cycled back. Dom in P4. Lots of action at the start. And that's that's honestly what I was hoping for with reverse order grid. Very close racing at the front. Three wide. Oh! I thought Hawk was gonna try to make it four. We got a battle for P1. Going into the chicane, very tight. Whoa, what a move by Ciro. McRacer ended up getting the bad end of that one, but all is well. Hako goes around the outside of Dom. Only a second and two tenths separates fifth through first at the moment. Rubino and Gav fighting it out. bit of 
eye contact there as they go side by side through the S's. The app gets the better of it. Hako up to P2. Our last race winner is almost in for he just nailed first. He is there. The last of first challenge has been successful for Hako. Well, Simon is now in P4. And he is starting to extend his gap. Already up to a second lead. Super needs another nerf. What's up, Michael? Simon trying to make a move on Truth, and he gets it done. Good move. He's up to P3 now. We're working on Sloth. Going through the chicane. Get some more battling between Gav and Dom. This is a very close race so far. I believe everybody. We have Rubino on hards and Truth on hards. So is Sloth. Sloth is also on hards. Everybody else on softs. Dom going out. Round outside on Sloth. Back up to P3 for him. Gap also gets the move done. It's that soft to hards comparison. Alright, so our top hards runners right now, they're going into the pits. Both of them, both Truth and Sloth are in there. Rubino's going one more lap. It's a heads up race here. No strategy going to be involved between Hako and Simon. Gav has been catching up to Dom. And Rubino is. Just, oh, he just spun out. Must have clipped the curb. Our top four has broke away. Simon gained a couple of tents on Hako. starting to stretch his lead up on Gav. Gav goes a bit wide. He's definitely going to lose a bit of time. Lots of time, actually. Uh, the next track is going to be at Sardenga Road B. We'll definitely stick this one out, McRacer, so you can get your pole position for next race. It's unfortunate what happened. Cruising right now. There we go. Another 31.5. Very good lap. Followed by a 31.9. Dom is in the 32s. Same with Gav. Almost mirroring each other's laps. You think he will set these out? <laughs> no worries, man. Hey, what's up, Grove? We're not doing Nord, not today. This right here 
here's a battle. And Hako is extending his lead on Simon. <laughs> Dude, you're not going to get, <coughs> excuse me, lapped in a 10 lap race unless you come, like, have some serious issues. Okay, guys, I think what's great about this combo is that the car don't re doesn't really drop off. It kind of gets a little better. A big tire wear difference between P1 and P2. Paco is almost four tenths, four seconds up now. I got one more heat and then the finals. You can absolutely join, man. You can absolutely join. Simon has dipped back into the 32s. Dom has stretched his lead to a second. We do have a little bit of a battle here for fifth as Truth and Sloth. Both guys have already hit. Not running as fast. So the, the finals race is going to be a random select between the three races. And it'll be an hour long. Five times tire, three times fuel. But the time of day and everything will be the same with the weather. Rubino and McRacer. Dom is up to a two and a half second lead for third. And Hako has extended his lead to four seconds. So really this is the only battle we got left. All right, cool. Definitely come in, man. Both of these guys are getting fast, but they do need to go a little quicker as Hako has now ran another 31.5. Dom is starting to catch P2. There could be a race for P2 coming up here. What's interesting is Simon hasn't really fallen off too hard from his base. Dom is just getting faster. I mean, I do not expect anything less from the two-time Subaru and Toyota champion. Started picking up the pace a little bit. Dom is still coming. Nice through the chicane. That's where he's gaining a bit of time, too. The gap is now 1.2. We'll be very interested to see where these two end up in correlation with Gav. But I think that they both have a chance to pass Gav. Taco is cruising. Very consistent pace. <coughs> Excuse me. What's up, Witchell? How are you, man? So we 
got battle for P2 and battle for P5 and 4 at the moment. These guys are right next to the wall. The tire situation, Dom has way better tires. Not bad for a guy on a controller. Oh, he has picked up a half a second penalty. That is going to hurt. opportunity to write that for the next one. Hako into the pits. I believe on this you could actually go to the 10th lap and then pit before the final lap. I can't, I can't remember if that's how it works. Okay, so Dom has inherited first. And Gav is now second. Very quick pit stop. are super harsh in Gran Turismo. Very nice through the chicane. And Cyril. I wonder if the reason these guys are so close is because Truth just can't overtake him. subscribe mixed match come the three tens all right our leaders are now into the pits Hako will inherit the lead Dom is coming out in p3 still ahead of Gav Truth finally got around Sloth. Finally. <laughs> we ended up missing the overtake. We are scrubs. Hako has finished. P2. And Dom again. Almost, almost got stuck this time. Fifth for Truth. Right, and then Rubino will be the last to finish, but not last place. Seventh. Yeah, definitely get in the race. We got one more heat and then a finals left. Dude, it was, you were so close to getting stuck. <laughs> I thought you for sure you were going to get stuck. All right, let's look at the results. Right, we're going to take a picture. All right, and then we are going to change to the last heat. <laughs> it's all good, dude. 
race finish delay 120 seconds. I wonder if that one was messed up somehow. All right, so we are in the final heat. I'm going to tally up points. Race will start at 2.30. 2.30. Next race. Witchell is also joining. That's sick. All right, I'm gonna tally up points, so give me a second. We got Hako, who is perfect on the day so far. Getting another 30. It's going to extend his lead in the points by 10 points. Cause Ciro is a perfect second place finisher at the moment with 50. All right, uh, P3 was Dom. was Gav. P5 was Truth. Alright, and P6 was Sloth. I gotta say, I'm not sure if that was a good move picking the F1, but I definitely enjoyed watching you drive it. Alright, P7 is Rubino. And then McRacer finished in P8 for 9 points. Alright, so the standings right now are... Hako in first, Simon in second, Dom in third with 35 points, Sloth in fourth with 30 points, and Truth in fifth with 28 points. So only seven points separate them. And then you have Sneaky and McRacer tied at 20 points. And then... Gav at 17 and Rubino at 11. So that is the points at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and add the racers that just joined. So we have we have Witchell and Mixmasker. else ended up joining all right that is it so far this has been uh, pretty entertaining for me to watch but hopefully you guys have been entertained as well I should be p1 just get up here then Omaha what's up Gergen how are you man I need everybody to at least join so I can set up grid. Just a heads up. So far, Simon is fast as practicing. Take your time, Mixmaster. We got nine more minutes. I'm actually going to use the bathroom right fast, so I'll be back myself.
Uh, no, you can change your car whenever you want, Wicko. It, you can, it doesn't matter what car you select. You can pick three different cars, you can pick the same car, whatever. Six minutes. I got Let It Rip also in here. Oh, sweet. What's up, Emery's? How are you? I guess I will add Let It Rip. Well, that's if he races. If he doesn't race, then. Yeah, I liked the last race. The last race was real tight. Yep. Yeah, me too. I, I see going forward, we will have like one week, we, uh, one make months. You know, like super formulas. You know, radicals, whatever. But I think like mostly, I want a variety of cars. You know, four, five, whatever. And you won't be locked into one car. So whatever car that you like per the track combo per heat will be fine. I'm doing all right. Just chilling. We got five minutes for the next race start here. Witchell, another very fast controller driver here. In the Maka. Nope, it's going to be reverse order grid from the last race. And then for finals, it's going to be what your points are. So from first to last, highest points will start on pole, and so on and so forth. Uh, all races are going to be around 20 minutes. So like, yeah, th this this one is about 10, 10 laps for the first two heats. This race here will be 12 laps. Unfortunately, come on, PD, you gotta fix this stuff. All right, four minutes. PD always hating, man. Equals clouds. Hit that like. What are you doing? Thank you, bro. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. I think we are good to set up the grid. Just making sure everybody is in. Yep, so let's set up the grid here. Grid starting P1 will be McRacer. P2 will be Rubino. Alright. That's nuts. Alright, P3 is Sloth. P4 will be Truth, P5 will be Gav, alright, and then Dom, P6, Zero, Hako, and Hitty is back. So because Hitty did participate in a race, he will fit, oh, he will start ninth, right? and then we will adjust like this. That's interesting. I don't know why it's so short. Two minutes for the next race and the last heat. I know, right? That's dumb. It's horrible, actually.
minute. I want to let everybody know who is participating in this test. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for coming. Especially you guys that just joined. You know, filling up the lobby. Thank you so much. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, Gary. Uh, the GTWS is one of the inspirations for this league. You know, not, not because I want to take what they're doing, it's because I think I could do something better. Alright, have a good race, guys. Let's go. Make sure everybody is in. I don't know who Ga Zeus is. But we're going to start the race. You're having yourself a cup of tea at the moment. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're starting. I'm having myself some tea too there, uh, Dom. Look at this grid. Ooh, very good start from Mitchell. It's gonna be three wide into turn one. Very tight into turn one. Simon already up in the P5. Ooh, Hako just going for it. Up into P6, but ended up dropping down to P8. right now is Rubino is in first to the softs oh my gap also on the softs sloth starting on the hard tire again so is Simon so is Dom Paco on the softs First one into the pits. What's up, Don? How are you? Where did Hako go? You can tell he does last the first. Simon into the wall! Ooh, big damage. He will definitely lose a spot to Witchell. But Witchell has a penalty. Simon 
know, all the way down the P6. Definitely got work that he's got to make up here. Omaha, what's up, Boku? Fastest lap set by Rubino. Last race, all just to get a pole position? Simon having some pressure here. I'm sure he cannot wait to get onto the soft tire, which was also on hards. Let it rip, though, is on the softs. Paco is down to 1.3 seconds from Gav. chasing this guy's still very close still no pit from these guys the fastest lap. Gav ended up losing it. Oh. That's uh, unfortunate for him. He just gets in the way of Sloth to retain his P3 at the moment. Hako's got 2.1 second gap to Rubino. still on each other. That gap is now down to 1.2 seconds. And closing, we will have a little bit of a fight for P1. This is the last hit, uh, the last heat, Boku, and then we're going to the finals. All right, we finally got some pits. Got Sloth and Witchell in. Simon deciding to go one more on the hards. He is currently the highest hard runner at the moment. Right, the gap is now down to eight tenths. Yeah, so far it's been all right, not too bad. there for Rubino. It's going to have Hako right on his bumper. The lead is now down to three tenths. Very nice run. He should get him up to turn one. He is choosing not to defend. Hako just goes right by him. Very nice. Last to first challenge done again for Hako. All right, McRacer. All right, we have Simon in the pits, so he's going to go on softs. Let's see where Simon gets out in correlation to Witchell, who he was just racing. We also have Dom ahead of Witchell at the moment. He ended up pitting for softs very early in this race. There's Simon. Simon does get undercut by both Witchell and Truth. This is the lowest position Simon has been so far. We 
very close race. He's still out the back here. Rubino's still hanging on. 1.2 seconds of the lead here. And with a nice cushion to P3. Mitchell has been past Dom. Very close racing so far here. Are you the closest racing through six laps? Simon working on his ex teammate here. Mitchell's made a bit of a mistake. Mitchell ended up losing all that ground that he made up. And he's got truth going for the move, too. And he does. Yep, he does get it done. Um, right up on Gav. Gav has come out of the pits on the hard tire. Simon is starting to extend his gap, though. in the pits. Bino is already pitted. So has Sloth. Sloth is having himself a good race. Sloth is only six seconds off of off of the uh, Paco here, who is technically the leader after pit stops. Mitchell going for the move. And he gets it. Ooh, he dips into the sand. I feel that pain. I feel like every time I try to make a move, I always make a mistake on exit. Simon is cruising. He is purple. He also has set the fastest lap by 18.4. He is moving. Only, only 3.3 off of off of Sloth. He is a total of four. Only seven seconds between him and Hako. Sloth picks himself up another penalty. Might bring Rubino right back into this. Mitchell has started to gap himself from Dom and Truth. And will Rubino make another move? Nope, he is deciding to stay right behind Sloth. Which is smart. Solid finish is a solid finish. Simon is now only one second behind Rubino. There will be... He is going to try and chase Paco for this, this lead here. He's going very fast. 18-3 so far. He is... Ooh, he ended up hitting Rubino off, though! No, Rubino! He's had such a good race so far. It's very unfortunate. Well, that's proof, ladies and gents. Simon is a dirty driver. <laughs> He's now 2.1 off of Sloth. Let It Rip is now into the pits, which will... Inherit Hako back the lead. You, you know what? I, I understand not waiting for somebody in a lead race, though. Usually there's like stewards, but 
you know, that was basically just, you know, having a moment underneath of him that ended up knocking him off, you know. It's unfortunate for Rubino, because Rubino was having a great race. Which is now up to fourth. Yep, so right, the only battle we truly have right now is the potential of Simon catching Slot, who is gaining on Hako. Sloth is on for a win here. He is now down to 1.8. 1, 1 if he could put this together and not worry about the gap coming down to him and Simon, he has a shot here with two laps to go. Simon with the apology to Rubino, only seven hours too late. <laughs> you know, very nice from Sloth. It is coming down to it here. Sloth all down to 1.60 within a second of Sloth. A very good race. He was slots just a little too wide, but he still has the run on Hako. It is down to nine tenths crossing the line. And he is about a second faster than them. So here we go. The race is on. The race is on. Oh, nice turn one. So did Hako. Hako had a great turn one. Gained a lot of time into the braking zone. Gap is now under six tenths. Oh, he just goes wide, though. No. Him and Zero ended up contact. Dang. Oh, that was a great drive by Sloth, though. He definitely had an opportunity to win this race. But it looks like Hako is going to stay perfect on the day for these heats. Opting for the strategy of using the softer compound in all three races to start has definitely proven its worth in these heats. He will finish first a third straight time, followed by Simon a third straight time, and Sloth will finish third on the podium. That was a great race. That was a great race. Well done, guys. Mitchell picks up fourth. Dom will come in fifth. Got Let It Rip coming after Dom. Oh, we almost missed his spin. He said cleaner racing and bumper cars. The truth will come in seventh. across the line will be Mix Masker. But at least he hung it out and he's going to finish the, the the race. Dude, that was an exciting finish between the all three. I honestly thought Sloth had it. If he doesn't run wide, he might have gotten you. I don't know what ESG is out of this world gaming. Or WSG, I don't know what that means. 
definitely a good race. But, all right, we are going to save the settings, or save the results. All right, we're gonna save the results. And then, I'm going to share my screen, and we are going to figure out which race is going to be the finals. All right, that's always a creepy look, right? All right, here we go. We're going to spin it. Which race will be the final race? All right, race two it is. So the final race will be an hour at Tokyo Expressway. All right. Change event. Load settings. All right, and what we're going to do is turn this into an endurance race. 60 minutes. Set by host. Tire wear will be five times and fuel will be three times. All right, so. I'm going to tally the points up. So just give me a minute here. Hako, perfect on the day. He he might be the goat of heat races. Because even in NRL, he smashes the heats. Leading in the points with 90. So Haka will be starting on the pole. Simon, behind him, with 75 points, will be starting in P2. Comfortable P2, by the way. Sloth is going to make a jump up into P3. He's got 50 points. Okay, Witchell. Finishes P4 that race. He gets 17. Dom finishes P5. And he gets 15. So we have a tie between Dom and Sloth. It's interesting. Looks like we're going to have to come up with some tiebreakers. So S7, let it rip. He finished P6, so he gets 13 points. All right. Truth finished 7th, he gets 11 points. Gav finishes eight point with eighth, so he gets nine points. Mix Masker finishes ninth. He will get eight points. Rubino is 10th. Still unfortunate for Rubino. Rubino, Rubino definitely could have got himself a top 5 for sure. 10th, he gets 7. And Mick Racer did finish the race. Well done to him.
in Haiti ended up finished, ended up DNFing. So we'll just leave it the way it is here. All right. So we do need everybody to get on track. Yep, the last race is going to be a grid start, but points leader gets pole this time. Yeah, we're going to take a little bit of a break. We're going to start the next race at 3... We'll start it at 3.10. I want to take a break too, actually. Finals. Starts. At 310. All right. Gonna say please ready, please ready up so I can set grid. All right, guys, I will be right back. So far, so good though.
right, guys, I am back. So interesting about the points. Hako has pretty much locked up P2. He can. I don't think he can finish any worse than P2 in the uh, in the test series. Obviously, he could lose first place, but but he's done. Uh, he's done enough that he could finish P2 regardless of result. Who do I think is winning this race? So going off of what happened in the first three uh, stints, I'm going to have to say Mr. Two-Time two -time Champ Dom the Goat is my pick to win this race. That's who I'm picking. <laughs> but if I had to pick a second favorite, I guess it would be Hako. <laughs> but all right, let's set up the grid here. So Hako has achieved first. Simon is second. Uh, the, the total points matters from second through last, right? The winner of the finals will take first place prize. But so far, like, I think you could finish ninth and you would still finish second. Like, you have, lo I, I, you have guaranteed yourself at least second place. So if money was on the line, which it will be for when this is up, you will get second place prize, say, if you do not win the race. All right, so P3. Let's go ahead and get this up here. P3. We have a tie between Dom and Sloth. I'm just going to flip for it. Alright, Dom, you are starting P3. <laughs> Sloth will start P4. Alright, and fifth place is Truth. So Truth will start fifth. Sixth place is a tie between McRacer and Gav. So we'll flip for that also. Alright, McRacer will get that. Alright, then... After that, Rubino, which I think Rubino ended up dropping. And then it's Witchell. So Witchell will be next, which I think Witchell also dropped. So then it will be... Seven... Mix Masker. So that will be your grid. So basically the order of the grid is the point standing so far. No worries, Gav. No worries. do need to come up with some tiebreakers though. I need to figure out some tiebreakers. So it's six minutes before the start of this. Currently, Simon is the fastest. Who 
opting to be in the Lambo, not surprised. As long as he doesn't have a, you know, a rough start, Hako should win it. I think you can too. That's why you're the two-time, bro. under half a second, or half a tenth for Mako. This time not using the F1, <laughs> using his trademark 650. I think that's a lot smarter this time, Salaf. Simon is not using his trademark, he is in the Lexus. He's got much less fuel than Hako, though. Two, two. It's gonna be close. Boku in the Lambo. He doesn't care. He's driving his car no matter what. Mix Master riding the 4C as well. We got a nice mix of cars. We got a Porsche, Mercedes, an Aston, BMW, Lexus, Toyota, two Toyotas, one 650, a GTR, 4C in a Lambo. I might have said those already. Yeah, Hako, the 31-7. Dude, it's gonna be close between these two guys. Look at the tire wear on the Supra. Is the Supra an endurance car now? Alright guys, one minute to keep disrespecting. <laughs> Look, I told you who my favorite is, but what I'm saying is between these two. All right, guys. All right, here we go. Finals is starting. 
Just gonna double check the starting grid real quick. We got Hako P1, Ciro P2, Shaq 3rd, Sloth 4th, Truth 5th, McRacer 6th, Let It Rip 7th, Mix Masker 8th, Pull Sitter 9th, Boku 10th, and the Black Storm will start last. All right, here we go. Finals is starting. One hour of Tokyo Expressway. I have to say this did move pretty well other than like just getting the start to go start by Simon. Dom will slot into P3. Oh, he hits the wall just a little bit. The sloth goes around the outside. No damage though. Truth is in fifth. A little bit of a battle between P7 and 6. And down to ninth, and then let it rip. So here's the situation Simon did take the lead, and Hako is at half a second behind him. He's up to P4. Dom has already done his tire change. <coughs> Seems to be a little bit better on the Supra. The real mullet believes in you. The, tell him, Scotty. Tell him. Starting in the back. Same with Black Storm. Black Storm up to fifth, starting in the absolute last place. turn going through the chicane now better run for Simon yeah I probably would Simon with the fastest stop at 31.7 Haka only a tenth behind him
Taco also has the most fuel between the three. It is so close up front, I don't, I don't want to change it. No, the test was complete stock BOP, only brake balance. They're just better at different parts of the track, it's interesting. Paco up a tenth. Very tight hairpin. They are starting to drop sloth off a little bit. gets the fastest lap again, 31.4, only a tenth better than Simon. Goku is still holding strong at P4, followed by Blackstorm. True Serum in 6, Pole Sitter in 7th now. He did not have the greatest of starts, but has found himself up into 7th. Dom, who has already made his pit stop, is only 4 seconds behind him, so when he pits, he will be much further ahead. Let it rip in ninth. Mix Masker brings up the rear. Mix Masker is, does have the pace over Let It Rip, though, so there's a chance he will catch him. Back up front. The only battles we have right now is for P4 and P1. Simon got a little understeery out of that corner.
little bit there. Oh, they ended up bouncing off each other. Just got a bit of damage. I think Blackstorm might have thought that that was the cause of that, so he let him back by. Stop. separated by anything more than eight tanks. Truth into the pits now. He's going to be going out in soft soil. Same with Pulsar. Something happened with Black Storm. Dom is now under 16 seconds from P3 and gaining substantially.
end laps and still bumper to bumper at the front. Dom has better tires than the McLaren. skimmed the wall. No damage though. Gap between P3 and P4 is down to 14.7. There's something to note, the P3 does have to run the hards at some point. fuel here. Oh, we have a pit stop here. Sloth coming back out onto the softs. He did almost top up. Dom is now five seconds up on him. So he has officially undercut him. And again, he still has to run the hards. So Dom is technically P3. Struggling a little bit in the back here with, with Boku. Boku running the hard tire, Bolsiter on the softs. having himself a good race. Dom has extended his gap on on Sloth. He's on much newer tires. Gap is down to three tenths. two or three second lead when these guys finally do pit. So strategy is definitely taking effect here. You can just see it between the the fuel. Simon has to go here. Hako went in too. Was that the move? Did he get a penalty for that?
Okay, see where Dom is in correlation to these two? Paco does not get a penalty. Dom is going to leapfrog into second place. What we're saying is there's a chance. Let's go, Dom! Again, Dom does not have to drive on the hard tires anymore. He is done. He can just soft it out. Hako on the softs, and same with Simon on the softs. Dom does let him go. Very smart by him. He doesn't lose much time, considering that he has a pace disadvantage. is starting to catch back up to Dom with the tire advantage. But I can imagine that Dom is going to pit here in the next couple of laps. Yeah, well done. What a drive. Let's go. The two-time. You guys counted them out. Truth is up to fifth. Pulse center in sixth. We have a black storm just behind them. Looks like Hako is extending his lead ever so slightly. I think Dom really needs to pit here soon. Yeah, I'm gonna be keeping an eye on that. 31-7 and Simon with a 31-6. So still within a 10. Sloth picks up his fastest lap of the race, 31.9. Paco has went purple. And he is extending his lead. Dom is now in the pits. Could I imagine coming out another set of softs? And tops up on fuel too. Coming out in fourth still. He's going to have a little bit of pressure of Truth Serum, but he is officially up the pit stop on the guys behind him. And a new fast lap, 31.4. Zero it ran three tenths slower than him that time. It's interesting that I can see Sloth's brake balance. We have we have a bit of a cluster here. Oh yeah, sometimes for sure. But so, I think that in this case, I think in this case, tires may be more important since I believe everybody will two stop at the very least, three stop. Let's 
just wonder what Dom will run on these fresh offs. Black Storm looking. He did get underneath the pole center. And he got the move to work. Pole center on the more worn tires. Black Storm did a two for one, really. The truth did not get the best of exit out of that corner. He was going to lose his spot to pole center. Maybe not. Maybe not. GTR just doesn't have the... the oh, he's going for the move. Ah, he shut the door on him. What's up, Jack? How are you, man? Still extending his lead ever so slightly with every lap. He is perfect on the day so far. 31-8 for Dom. Blackstone has found himself back up to fifth place. He is another driver that has dipped into the 31s. Definitely the fastest of this bunch. Makes Racer very consistent. I just didn't want to be in the way of the action as Simon sets the best lap of a 31.3, but it was only a tenth better than Hako's last lap. I've got no pants on. <laughs> the gap between Dom and Sloth is stagnant too. Blackstone has dropped off Truth. Truth has dropped off Pulsar. So we currently don't have really any battles besides P3 between Dom and Sloth. Right, this time, Cyril was only a half a second faster, or half a tenth faster. Simon, Simon's really pushing. I really don't know if it's going to matter because he needs to save a bit of fuel, if I'm going to be honest, because he's already almost caught up to the fuel mileage of Hako. Oh, you're hilarious. All right, Dom is starting to catch a little bit. It was faster by two tenths last lap. He's also doing much better on tires this time around, not being in the slipstream, plus starting on the lower fuel. 
very surprised with this Supra in this race so far. You can see a back marker in the distance. 31 6 that lap. And Simon set another purple lap of 31.2. Four tenths difference there. Hako will most likely catch up to Boku. It's looking like three laps, four laps. Ooh, Simon had a moment. He's losing a lot of time. All right, Jack, no worries. Hako is back up. It's 4.4 seconds. Yeah, I, I really think Simon needs to start shifting this Lexus as soon as it starts blinking to save some fuel. Or he's just going to lose more time in the pits. It will slow his lap times down, though, for sure. Dom has almost gained a full second. Really a tenth away. 31.6, that is his fastest lap of the race. Only four tenths off the leader, or the leaders. Actually, after this, I am going to get off, my friend. He gained, he just lost. Seems like the Black Storm is gaining. Actually, he's a little bit stagnant, if I'm being honest. And at that time, Dom was half a second faster. And then Sloth. I'd definitely already be off by then because this race is half over now. I think Sloth has made a bit of a mistake. Stom is working on his second second on Sloth. battles currently. Simon was three tenths better that lap. I think there's a bit of pace management going on here to save a bit of fuel. with the most fuel left of the top five. He's starting to do a better job on the fuel. He is revving it out still a little bit too much. Maybe he's starting the fuel map. Does tap the wall. We have a we have a pitter. Is 
now down to 18 seconds for P3. And Sloth has picked up a half second penalty. Starting to see, he's starting to feel that tire wear. So much from this. The closer he gets, the easier his time will be when Sloth does go onto the hards. Ooh, he ends up hitting the wall a little bit. Tom with excellent consistency. Definitely proving he's deserving of this podium. Now, a total of five seconds he has gained. The GR2 Nations race, I will start practicing for Nations starting tomorrow. And then I'm going to do my playthroughs in the morning and do lobby races from here until GTWS is over. Thirty-one nine, thirty-one nine, thirty-one nine. Definitely some pace management. Sloth is in the pits now. Let's see where Dom is here. Right, he doesn't have P3. And Sloth will be battling a little bit with Blackstorm. Truth is going to be in the pits too. Are there going to be four stops to this race? I'm not so sure, Racecraft. The last couple of laps... Mako has been faster of the two in the front. I, I imagine Dom only has one more pit stop left. These guys have to pit probably twice. Unless they're going to go on to the hard tire, which with the 29 second gap to P3, it's very possible. Akko does have more fuel than, than Ciro now. up in the P3. It's because Dom has pit. Only they're they are under 10 second gap here. That that is huge. Dom only has 9.4 more seconds to complete his strategy. Yay! 
Yeah, technically. It looks like he's going up to a hundred. And he is on the softs again. So these guys are hitting one more time. Simon is on the hearts. Well, Hako is going to pit one more time. Simon looks like he is going to be happy going the distance. I think Hako is going to need to get to 17 seconds to guarantee himself a win over Simon. I think it's 17 or 18 seconds. Dom will inherit fourth place back. race is definitely panning out pretty interesting. Everybody's spread. I guess Boku and Mixed Master are the closest to. Followed by Simon and Hako. tonight. I do not believe so, no. I'm going to uh, be resting up. Dom going purple here. Fit officially, like if it was an official, um, if it was an official series, absolutely. But I'm just gonna let the game do whatever it does. Gap is up to seven, seven point seven. Ten more seconds for Hakka to find. gained a bit, running his fastest lap in the race at 31.7. Mm -hmm. seconds per lap, but we go by optimal pace. 33.3, so he lost a second there. to imagine in their heads they are thinking like what's gonna happen when Hako does take his pit for hearts like where the gap will be I 
do think Dom's bid for P2 is out of the question, though. He's down 28 seconds. It's just, I don't think that's going to happen. And these guys are right on top of each other in lap times. for Hako on this lap. And 33.2 so is the whole second and a half. And again, like, what's interesting about this combo on track is the car don't really fall off too much at the end of the stints kind of, you know, it kind of just stays the same, really. So if he can keep this up, he's got another six seconds to find, I think. I think six seconds, I think 17, 17 is the magic number for him that he needs to get to. But he's only six seconds away. The Sloth is gaining on Simon as well. But again, Sloth has to take another pit, where Simon... I believe is going to the end. It actually would make no sense for him to pit now. So he has to go to the end. He is he has made his bed. Massively on sloth here. A little mistake cost him almost three seconds. is now within 20, almost within 20 seconds between him and Zero. Paco did catch P8. He's going purple. Definitely add a bit of pressure, especially getting beat by 2.1 seconds that last lap. We got almost 11 minutes left in this race. I think as it stands, only the top seven will finish. Up to 15 
seconds. definitely going to the end. So he is, he's technically P3 here. Alright, the bleeding wasn't as bad, only 1.6 seconds that last time. is now within 19 seconds of Simon. is getting larger and larger. Seven minutes left. He's holding steady. Very consistent laps, though. All within two tenths ever since the pit. two laps, three laps, at the very most. And really the big key here is he's just going to make sure he doesn't pit too early.
20 seconds now between P1 and P2. And well done to the top four, for sure. And Blackstorm. Well done. And very fast, all four of them. wait to see what the gap is, what the situation is as soon as he pits. And he has done everything right in every heat of every race so far. Yeah, everything right. He has done everything right. Zero has started running 32s. He has the same lap, both 35 and 36, same lap time. It's really interesting. Still losing time to Hako, though. Exactly, exactly. It's going to be way shorter. It is... I think Hako has done it. I think he ran a really good race. His strategy is definitely number one, I think. I know that Dom is definitely going to be P3. Because here is the pit for Sloth and the pass by Dom to secure his podium. Because now we are under three minutes left in the race. So he's just going to run out, even with the dead sauce. I don't think he cares. He's just he's going to finish. Hako will be going in this lap, I believe, four hearts. It has to be this lap. What a race, though. What a race. Very cool to see the different strategies up front. We are now going to be under a minute here. And the pit stop for Hako is coming up. The moment of truth is upon us. Did he make the gap long enough? Right into the pits, nicely done. The Simon is coming up. He's going through the hairpin. The tires are on, he is out. Hako has done it. He has done it. Let's go. The optimal strat. What a race by him. Well done. 
He was perfect coming to the finals. He stays perfect in the finals. Pulse Center and Truth has officially finished. He is rounding out the lap here, going through the chicane. Official test season champion Hako. What a race by you. Well done, man. Didn't expect anything less. Our P2 will be Simon. He stays perfect second. And Dom with the same strat as Hako will finish P3. We are going to look for the signature slide. Yo, let's go is right. Well done, man. Here we go. We want the slide. Bitch. Let's go. And then Sloth going through. Blackstorm will round out the top five. So there we go. What a race. What a race. We will look at the results one more time. Our champion, Hako, won every single heat, stays perfect on the day, wins the finals. Simon stays perfect second place through every heat and in the finals. And then we have Dom, who locks up P3. Sloth, who will lock up P4. Black Storm will get P5 points for this race. But I believe the truth is locked up P5 for the points. We will get official point standing on the Discord when I'm done with a nice little picture. Poku and P8. And uh, we got Mix Massacre finishing 9th. Let It Rip in 10th. And Mick Racer with a DNF. But all right, guys, again, I want to say thank you for being a part of the uh, testing of, you know, our monthly tournament series. It will be, it will be live most likely June. June will be our very first weekend of this. I say weekend, but we're going to do it in one day because that's what I want it done in one day. It's not just this encounter. I'm glad you had fun, Mixmasker. If you have any opinions, please send me a message through Discord. And honestly, I'm perfectly fine if you guys have an opinion to send it right on the official The Goats Discord chat. So, you know, whether negative or positive, just let me know how you feel about it. Uh, and you guys have yourself a great day. Appreciate y'all. Peace.